finding your feet in a community like this down here is, um, it's about as easy as it gets. <laughs> I mean, people have literally thrown open their doors and welcomed me in and everyone's just so instantly welcoming. It's like an extended family. I can't believe that, you know, I'd, I'd grown up in New South Wales and I'd never been to the South Coast. I mean, what a part of the world. It's, uh, it's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. It wasn't until I actually got a snorkel mask out in my fins and I realized it's the same underwater. It's just this whole place is just teeming with life. I remember diving in the water and the first time at Mystery Bay and literally put my head underwater and I thought there was a rock straight in front of me, but it was a massive eagle ray. And then I looked and I thought all these rocks, there was this like 10 eagle rays in about 50 centimeters of water just gliding along, feeding off the bottom. I was, I'd never seen anything like that in my life. And definitely one of the most enjoyable things about the entire process is um, finding ways to, to use products that, you know, probably wouldn't be considered the norm because, I mean, that's kind of what the whole principle of the show is about. I can only imagine how much usable meat gets minced up and turned into dog food. So cooking a pig's head was a great way of, uh, you know, acting on those principles because to buy one from like a, from an abattoir or a butcher, you're probably looking at about five bucks for a whole head. You know, what's that? Half a kilo of sausages. And then, you know, making making something out of essentially what people consider nothing. I mean, that's, that's the, the alchemy that cooking is all about.